Uh, Gus, $10 soup chat, your money, career, status, and experience doesn't make a woman more sexier or attractive. That's what makes a man attractive. Attraction is not symmetrical. We want ambition to be a wife, mother, feminine, fit, young. And peace. We want peace. That's a big one. Um, yeah, and also with the whole like career money thing, you brought that up before in terms of what a guy would have in common with someone who's a bit older. One of the reasons men don't, it, it doesn't really matter to us is because women don't really share their resources with the men the same way that men share their resources with women. Women rarely like will spoil a guy, especially early on, the same way that a guy will spoil a girl. I feel like it's That's unfair to make that assumption. That's it's not unfair. Wait, unfair to make that assumption. Well, I think I know a lot of women who, women who, if they have the means to, that they that they would. And I mean, spoiling doesn't yeah. only have to be in like terms of money. You can be there, support your partner emotionally, it's a physically. Love language too. Like it's just because a man but is paying I, for all the dates. We're talking about money, though. We're uh, talking specifically about money. Okay. So I'm talking about spoiling someone. I think it's just okay. more... Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, I think it's more common, I guess, for the man to be the one spoiling and having more money. But I mean, most of the time when I have met women who are financially able to, and they, they will, they can. I've dated very successful women who make a lot of money. They don't even want to pay for the first date. That's crazy. I used to pay for my ex-boyfriend. And looking back on this now, I, I don't think I should have done this. I think we should have gone 50-50. But I used to pay for our entire rent all our utility bills, everything the to help. Finesse. And he went the and finesse. he was in nursing school. And I'm not, I don't think that's like a good thing on me. I look back on that. I'm like, okay, you were stupid. But I'm just saying that I think that there are definitely women that do that to help a man. There, there are, but achieve it's his dreams. But most women, like if they are supporting their guy, it's going to be like, they don't, they won't do it long term. Maybe they'll like hold a guy down for a couple months, I but like not they're going to start having contempt for their partner if they're holding it down like for a long period of time. That's a fair, I think that's and a fair point. And look, some women are happy, are cool being the breadwinner, but most guys experience, and I can tell you from my experience, most women are not offering on a date to pay the whole bill. Yeah. Whereas that's guys will do that shit all the fucking time. That's just the stereotype, I feel like. It's not a... It's actually it's bad. Not so there's, a there's even a stat of the reason why divorces are ending because women make more money. They see their husbands as less than. So it's like, it's proven. That's actually a good point. I think the stat is, is that so 50% of uh, marriages end in divorce. 80% mm -hmm. of divorces are initiated by women. That number rises to 90% if she's college educated and she's the breadwinner. So if she makes more money for some strange reason, they're more likely to initiate a divorce. But Can I yeah. initiate a point from, that might just go to that and you can continue? <laughs> go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, you go ahead. You go well, ahead. no, it's just uh, the, the only thing I was going to uh, end with is that the, the way I can dispel this idea that women don't share their resources with men in the same way that men do, or that women don't spoil their men the same way that men spoil women is women, <sighs> Kiko, who should pay on the first date? Whoever is asking the person out. That's not what you said last time you were on the show. You said men should pay. I said no. You, you it was actually on TikTok, so I just watched what I said. Well, and I went to rewatch what you cut out, what I said, too. Yes, mm -hmm. we just watched it. I said, at first, I said I would not typically be paying. I probably will never be paying for a first date because I don't ever see myself pursuing somebody and asking them out on a first date. Okay, so the man should pay. I if, think whoever asks some woman like asking men out on a date, then if she, if a woman asks a man out on a date, says, hey, I fuck with you, I want to go get some coffee or go get some food, she better pay for it. That let, does happen, and I think she should pay for it. Okay, okay, let me counter that. So if a woman had the position of, I'm never going to approach a guy, I'll wait till guys approach me or initiate with me, she can find a partner. The majority of men, if they say, you know what, I'm gonna sit back, I'm gonna let a girl approach me, ask for my number, set up the date, take the lead, go for the first kiss, escalate things sexually, that man is a virgin for life, he will die a virgin. Correct. He yeah. will, the, unless he's exceptionally attractive, guys don't have the benefit of just waiting for women to come to them. Correct, but this is what the society that men created, y'all are the ones who set all these standards in place, not us, so but you okay. match yourselves for but, that. True. But 
it is naive to say that whoever sh pays should ask, or sorry, excuse me, I'm butchering the, the whoever asks should pay. It's, it's naive to say that that's how it ought to be because it ignores the fact that in the vast majority of instances where somebody's asking someone out, it's going to be the guy asking the woman out. So you might as well just say men Yeah, that pay. sucks. But the only reason why I say whoever asks to pay is for those exceptions that we have. That's literally why. Because there are exceptions. So, but yeah, nine, I, will, I agree with you. 90% of the time, it will be the man paying. Okay, Sorry, well, I'll, I'll I, I tell don't you, know if they want to cry about I'll it I'll tell you not. anecdotally, as someone who's probably gone over on over 100 first dates, God damn. one time... One time a girl bought, a, bought me a burrito. <laughs> Every other time it was either split or I paid. Every other time. I've gone on over, uh, it's probably over 200 date, first dates to be honest. Well, guys want to <laughs> be the provider. Yeah. 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 It's like a red flag. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I just can't love you, Brian. I love you. Well, you know. Uh, W's for Brian in the chat. W's for Brian I used to. Uh, What's the percentage <laughs> that got second dates? <laughs> right. I think that's the, the real shower? question. Have you seen those like, TikToks where they went through all their first dates? <laughs> yeah, it's so it's it's too like much. <laughs> but, uh, and that, you, my experience is the experience of most men. It's either split or the guy pays. We're so. the trophy. Like, I don't know if you want me. Like, I, I agree with you. I Actually, don't know if, I you think want, if you want to cry about it or not, but like, yes. Are women the trophy though? Yes. A hundred percent. Women are the trophy. You, Why? You get down on one knee and you propose to me to make me say yes. You go and buy me a pretty ring worth thousands of dollars and ask for my hand in marriage. I'm not asking for yours. And that's why you should not get married, gentlemen. <laughs> Don't get married. 50% divorce rate, 80% of divorces are initiated by women. And, uh, or get a prenup. And they get thrown out all the time. Yeah. Prenups are not ironclad. They can get thrown out. Oh, to be I smart was, about it. I was under duress. He forced me to sign it. 